Hey and what's up? In this video I want to share a free lesson of one of my courses called UX Design Portfolios with Notion in which I'm sharing a nice way to easily create nicely looking portfolios with the great productivity and organization software Notion. The course is on Skillshare and I will put a link in the description box so you can sign up for free and even get one month of Skillshare Premium for free on top. So that's definitely a good offer for you. And talking about portfolios, in fact, you can create a portfolio for anything in Notion. The content in my course is focusing simply on UX design, since this is where I'm coming from. But if you're an artist or an architect, it really doesn't matter. If you have something to show, you can make use of my approach. The lesson you're about to watch is covering the final touches and how you can make your portfolio really stand out. We're going to use a third party tool in this case called super.so and it's actually quite fun and just as easy as Notion itself so enjoy the following free chapter of my course and if you want to watch the full thing scroll down a bit and you will find the links. All right, so let's take a look at Super and how you can upgrade your Notion portfolio. Um, so Super is, is a tool that jumps in, in between the user and your Notion website. And by that, it's able to inject um, a certain um, degree of extra code, which enables you to modify and customize your, your appearance. And I would just like to start off by showing you um, some of the portfolios that have been created by using Notion and Super. And they're really, really nice. They have um, the showcase section on their website, super.so. And, um, as you can see here in the thumbnails, it's already quite, quite nice. And the um, mind blowing thing is this website also has been created using Notion and Super. So you already get an idea of what you can do. Of course, the fancy, fancy stuff is done by um, custom CSS and um, injecting code. So for, for these kind of things, they don't come out of the box. You have to know a little bit of coding but still you can keep all your data in your Notion. So that's kind of the advantage. You don't have to run a separate website. You can kind of expand um, the potential of um, Notion a bit. And just take a look here at this, at this portfolio um, of, of her. It's, you, you wouldn't say or wouldn't see or recognize that this is coming from Notion, right? Would you? So this is really a nice example um, of, of what you can do, of how you can change the overall experience and all the flexibility that you have. You can change the buttons. There's really a lot of stuff that you can do, all right? So um, what else is there? Um, when you're starting out with uh, Super, you get to access all these guides as well. They are tutorials on the more simple task to get you going. As I just said, the, the um, stylized buttons, for example, and um, they have really nicely and detailed inst instructions here with videos for each of the different steps. And then you can see there's this extra code that you have to add, but at the end you will come from this and end up with this. So that's kind of the basic idea. But of course, there's also easy customizations to be done and I will show you how that works just in a few seconds. Um, they provide you with icons as well. So you can just uh, click on them and they will be copied and then you can paste them into Notion. So that's also nice and handy. When it's coming to the pricing, then um, it's not for free as you can see. It's $12 per site per month. Um, per, per site means um, one page and I think unlimited uh, sub pages. Um, if you want another page with a separate URL, that would require another um, account, I guess, or another uh, $12 per month. Um, 
All right, so um, I would say let's uh, sign in or just jump into the super backend. This is how it looks like uh, once you created your account. And um, here you have um, all the different sites. And in our case, it is still empty because I will create it together with you. Then there's a billing section, there's my account, um, and you get support, all that stuff. You have a community, it's really nice. Let's go to sites and create a new site. And now you have to pick between two methods, as they call it. The one is super static, the, the other one is super default. Super static is hosted on a super server. <laughs> super server. It's actually a really clever way of calling your product super. So they have a super server and it's hosted on the super server, um, which makes it faster because this one, the super default, is still hosted on uh, Notion still they need to do their customization and this will slow that down quite remarkably. Um, still, this is the option which is most compatible with all of the features because it's still coming all from Notion. So for example, uh, calendars and timelines will not work with super static, but will work with super default and it has the default search engine optimization um, with super static, you have uh, optimized SEO, faster page speed, and it stays in sync with Notion, but it's not compatible with calendars and timelines. So if you're using these two modules, then you should stick to super default. If not, I would recommend to pick the super static option here. So let's go ahead, provide that with a name. I would just pick my name. And here we have to pick the custom domain. You have to do that. You have to have a domain. It can be also a subdomain. So in my case, it's portfolio.maxbrinkman.com. And then we need the public notion uh, URL. And I will just um, drag our, um, whoops, there it is, our portfolio here. So you can see how that looks like. You need to share and share it to web publicly. Then we can just uh, deactivate this, up allow duplicates as templates. We don't need any of this. We just need this link of this public space. Then we can add this here because it needs to be linked to the URL. Let's click on continue. Now we're talking about pretty URLs. So when we have sub pages, we can map them to pretty URLs. I will again bring um, the portfolio up because I want to show you how that works with this example. We have the UX toolkit. We click on that and again if we click on share it is already shared because the um, parent uh, page has been shared. We just need to copy the link and let's minimize that. Add this here and we want a nicer um, pretty URL and we just call it UX Toolkit. So instead of this, we will have portfolio.maxbrinkman.com slash UX Toolkit. And we can add as, as many more as we want. Let's continue. So you need to add your domain to your Notion page. This is handled by Super. You just need to um, switch or select your domain provider. In my case, it's one and one. So it's not listed here just need to click on other and there's the instructions. So we need to add a CNAME re record to our domain, my domain with the name portfolio and the value is cname.super.so. You need to look up how that works for your domain provider, but it's really simple usually um, and it's uh, quickly done. Once that's done, we can come click on continue. And now it gets interesting because we can start customizing the visual experience. Um, the first thing that we can do is pick a custom font and there are a lot of fonts. I'm not sure where they're coming from, if they're Google fonts or what, whatever they are, but they provide you with the option to select one of these and they will change throughout the entire website. So you cannot, uh, here you cannot say only the headlines should switch in their fonts or typeface. Um, but it will be a global change. Of course, you can do that. Uh, 
even down to um, single modules with custom code. But just in our case, uh, let's switch to the IBM Plex Mono typeface. And um, then we have a site image uh, shown when your site is shared. So this is just the OG image, MetaTag, if you're familiar with that. And I think I prepared that as well. OG image uploading, then we can create a custom fav icon, which appears then uh, close to the URL. We can do that as well. Should be a square PNG, all right, I think it is. Then um, here, site description again, this is only for the OG tags. Um, description, hello world. I think I will show you how that looks also as well. And then here you can inject um, the code. You can add code snippets here. You can add anything you want. You can add code for analytics or custom CSS or whatever you want, but I'm not doing that. You can enable or dis disable the site search. You can show or hide the page properties and you can um, enable or disable the search engine and indexing. So these are also quite handy settings that you can do here, custom, uh, customizations that are quite nice, I think, but these that these um, pre-settings here are already working out well for me. So I'm clicking on continue. It says done, your site should be live shortly. If you run into anything, just give us a shout through live chat or by email. All right, done. And now it says checking for DNS. And once that's done, uh, we can continue. So we have to wait a few seconds now. Progress. All right, so now it says live and we can click on the link and it will guide us to our new portfolio. So as you can see, it looks a little bit different um, than before. Um, let's check out how that the public shared link looks like if we don't apply all the super changes. So we still have the search here. We have Notion there and we have obviously the different fonts. So um, this is how it looks like with a different um, typeface applied. And um, yeah, you can, you can see the difference, I think. There's the, different, the new URL. And now if I click on Toolkit, you can see that it matched um, the new pretty URL as well. And if I click here, for example, where I didn't apply that, it changes to this hash at the end. So it's definitely worth um, exchanging the URL just to have it in a more proper way and it's just more it's looking more like a website really it feels also more like a website so it's definitely worth um, trying out and if you want to spend the money then totally go for it I think they made a nice product and it's it's a nice hacky way it's it's kind of matching the spirit of using notion for websites anyway so I kind of like that now the last thing that I wanted to show you is how it looks like in a shared post. So I will just copy the URL, move over to uh, Facebook in this case because they can really quickly um, render these um, previews. And when I paste it here, we should be able to see the OG image and description that we entered just a few minutes ago. And there you see, this is the image that I uh, enter. And here, as you can see, it says description, hello world. So whatever you wanna enter, it will be uh, integrated in these kinds of previews, all right? All right, cool. So that's how you can spice up your Notion pages with Super. And this really helps to bring in a tiny bit of individualization with really little effort and makes your portfolio stand out. And as you saw in the showcase section, there are literally no limits to your creativity if you want to modify your pages even more or add custom CSS. I think at some point, the whole customization invalidates the whole point of using Notion over an entirely custom website, but that's a matter of taste. And if you're up to do that, 
you should totally go for it. So this wraps up the learning content that I wanted to share with you. I would like to ask you all to continue to the next chapter before closing this course. Thank you very much. All right, I hope you enjoyed that free chapter and you were able to learn something. Again, for the full course, you will find the links down below. Anyways, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day and goodbye.